Hey guys, Professor Ivan Pin here. I hope you are having a fabulous Wednesday. I am here to announce the next free writing and grammar workshop that I am doing. The world spoke and I have listened. Uh, many of you have already signed up for the free notifications for the free workshops and a lot of you have expressed that uh, you are either a college student or a graduate student who's in the midst of that final exam time and you've got those final papers those final research papers, and you said, please help in the areas of thesis statement, essay structure, and thought organization. That is exactly what I will be teaching on this Saturday at 12 p.m. Central on Zoom. Uh, so if you would like notifications for that and all my future free writing and grammar workshops, do sign up at the link in the description bar. I really encourage you to take advantage of this. I myself am already in the midst of grading papers, so I'm, I'm really well in tune with uh, one as someone who has written many papers myself, as someone who Thank you, Lord, for getting me through all three degrees. Written many papers as someone who has three degrees that have to do with writing. I know what you're going through. That's the first thing. And then secondly, I um, am on the inside. Okay, so I can definitely help with questions like, how do I know if my if I have a strong thesis statement going, okay? I can tell you general tips for what makes a strong thesis statement. When it comes to, okay, now that I have that thesis statement, that argument that I will be setting forth in my paper, how do I go about laying that out in my body paragraphs? We will talk about that, okay? And that also goes to that thought organization, not only on the macro level of the overarching argument of the paper, but on the micro level of how you structure those sentences. Some things that I still see are people um, having misplaced modifiers in their sentence. For example, I bought a, a sweater on Wednesday that was fuzzy. Okay, uh, what's wrong with that sentence? It says that Wednesday is fuzzy, not the sweater. Okay, it would be, the correct way would be, I bought a sweater that was fuzzy on Wednesday or Wednesday I bought a sweater that was fuzzy so we talk about these little things that help make sure that you are expressing yourself in the clearest most concise most proficient way possible uh, I'm not going to keep you a long time that's just all I swung through to say I hope to see you this Saturday when 12 p.m. Central on Zoom to get the Zoom link. You need to make sure you're already signed up or sign up now at the link in the description. Space is limited. Now that there is room for a lot of people, but I would suggest to go ahead. There are a lot of people who have registered, okay, for notifications. So if you want to make sure you make it into the room, I would get on a little bit early. I do utilize the waiting room method on Zoom. So if you show up and you don't immediately see me, don't don't leave, hang out there until I admit you into the digital classroom. And if you find that you are not admitted, that simply means that there is, and that would only be if you were like super late or something, um, theoretically, uh, that would mean that the space was full. But take advantage of this. If you have students in your life, drag them on. Okay, there is no reason when there is a resource available to you, there is no reason to not take advantage of it when it doesn't cost you anything. All right. Okay, so bring you, bring your students, bring a friend, and I will see you then. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at The Pen Speaks. That is at T H E P E N N S P E A K S. And you can also subscribe uh, to my personal website thepinspeaks.com. All right, guys, uh, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday and be blessed.